And now the UTV weather. Looking forward with Progressive, Northern Ireland's building society. Now, where was our weather watching camera today? It was where Jenny, Rusty, Delia and Jeannie might have lived. Do you recognise this street? In this town, I'll name the place Jenny, Rusty, Delia and Jeannie might have come from in just a moment. Now, the main band of rain that caused the problems has now actually moved away and it was brighter and more pleasant today. There are thunderstorms across parts of Europe, so we're not doing too badly at the moment. There was a rain in some parts today, but it should be dry going into darkness. The rain actually moving off out to the northwest. Now, it'll be dry overnight with just the odd hint of a shower in some parts. The cloud will thicken as as we go towards dawn, it will be misty and murky, but it will tend to be mainly dry and quite mild. Now, as we go into tomorrow morning, it'll be somewhat showery. Be prepared for the odd, nasty downpour, but it'll be bright, it'll be sunny at times. It'll be thundery and breezy, but as I say, many parts will have good sunny spells at some stage tomorrow, but be prepared for that nasty shower. Now, the outlook is for, well, misty mornings, followed by a mix of uh, sunny and showery conditions. All things considered, not too bad for autumn time. Now the number to call. If you'd like more detailed information about the weather today and the week ahead, you can call us on 09001 505550. So who's weather watching tonight at number one? It's Mitchell Thompson from Bloomfield. Mitchell is 15, partying tonight with his family and best wishes from his chums at Wellington College. At number two, it's the Boyle Twins from Rosemont in Derry. Hello to Kathleen and Cara. At number three, it's Christopher Rowe. Christopher is four today, blowing out the candles as we speak. Another set of twins are at number five. It's a Sam and Eve Kelly from Dundonald. Sam and Eve, one year old today. Oh, well, they were at number four. At number five, it's Chloe and Saoirse Ferguson from Banbridge. Chloe is five years old today. Hello to you, Chloe. And almost finally, at number six, it's William Morrison from Bangor. William hits the fine age of 60 today. Now, finally, there he is. It's the young man I showed last night, but I didn't name him. It's Darren Spruill from Kesh in County Fermanagh. There you are, Darren. You're on the telly again tonight, except it's a bigger picture this time. Now, let's check the air. UTV Airwatch, in association with Phoenix Natural Gas, working to bring you a brighter future. With the breeze and some rain around today, pollution levels are well under control. The readings are favourable. More showers developing tomorrow will help keep the atmosphere clean, so there should be no real change in the pollution levels. The rest of the UK fares much the same as Ireland, in that those levels are registering in the safe green category yet again. Working to bring you a brighter future. Now, where was that weather-watching camera today? It was in the town where Jenny, Rusty, Delia and Jeannie might have come from. If I had said Bristol, Lee, Smith and Rankin, you would have said Cookstown. And you would have been absolutely right. You're up to date. Have a good evening. Take care. Be good. Bye-bye. I'm worried I actually got that one. But that's it from us for this evening. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow, 5.30. But now it is 6 o'clock and we cross to the news desk for tonight's main headlines with Kate and Paul. <laughs>